Man. It's amazing. Mm. God. That thing's like shooting a compound. I mean, it really is. It's almost cheating. It really is. I am amazed. I am truly amazed. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in to Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm Jeff Phillips. I'm so glad you could join me. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you. Praise God. I appreciate every one of you for watching. I uh, hope that something that you see on this channel will be helpful in your traditional archery journey. We hope and pray that something is said or done that can bring some light to shooting process, to hunting, to whatever. Anything to do with recurves and longbows, guys. That's our world. All right, so let me show you guys the mystery bow. That's right, a mystery bow. And I put that label out there, guys, for a reason, because seriously, it is. What I've got in my hand is not known to the world. It's not. I can promise you, you probably won't see anything on these bows. You probably won't. I've probably got the only one. Now, in the United States, that is. I'm probably the first guy to have my hands on one of these bad to the bone. And I mean bad to the bone, ILF bows. So guys, anyway, I'm going to show you what I've got. There it is, the Sanlita Archery ILF Hermit X10. Weird name, but a super bow. That I will guarantee you. So first, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you what's up with this mystery bow. Uh, you've already seen a little bit of the shooting going on. I don't have to say anything else. This is like shooting a compound bow. It is like the most accurate thing that you'll probably ever put in your hand. Why? Why is it different than any of these other ILF bows or, or anything? Why is it? Well, it's not a lot different than some out there. Let's just say, comparing this bow to a super high-end ILF rig, like a genuine Satori with a 19-inch riser, comparable, equal if not even greater in quality. And I promise you guys, that's the just the honest truth. It is. Why? Because the riser. Let's just tackle the riser on this bow first, and then I'm going to tackle the limbs, and I'm going to tell you about this mystery bow and why it shoots so incredibly well. And since I have owned more ILF bows than, than I can even wrap my mind around in the past few years, some I really liked. Some I did not like that much because I couldn't tame them. I couldn't get the noise out of them. Uh, and lots of the limbs just didn't have that great of a draw cycle uh, and that much performance unless they were severely upgraded. Okay, well, we're going to dive into that in here in just a second. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys the riser. There it is. There is the riser on this bad to the bone, as I call it, ILF bow, the Hermit X10. All right, what's different about it? Well, number one, and first of all, you see this wrap? That is comfort wrap. I do comfort wrap on virtually every bow I've got, pretty much, especially the ILF rigs, because I love the feel of it. It's a Walmart Wilson brand comfort wrap that feels so amazing in my hand, okay? I started doing compounds years ago with it and I've used it on all sorts of trad bows, especially when I'm hunting because my gloves, what I found out guys, when I, when I bow hunt, I have Sitka gloves and my gloves on a walnut grip, which by the way, this bow comes with a beautiful walnut, low wrist angle grip, you see that? Narrow throated, low wrist angle walnut grip. It is gorgeous. 
But when I'm bow hunting with a glove on when it's cold, my hands want to slide around on a wood grip, okay? Or a plastic grip, it, they just do. So that's why I wrap mine. That's why I'm used to the feel of this stuff. And even without gloves, I love the feel, especially when it's hot, it's sweaty. If I'm shooting 3D tournaments in June and July, I don't have to worry about a sweaty hand moving at all on, on my uh, grip. So that's why I wrap mine. All right, so now guys, here we are on the X10 riser. This riser is not molded, it's not injected, it's not magnesium, it's not cheap. It is the best that money can buy. T6061 machined aluminum, fully machined riser on this boat, okay? Fully machined. The limb pockets, the ILF pads in the pockets over here are stainless steel, guys. Nothing cheap whatsoever. In all seriousness, you have to compare this kind of riser on this new mystery bow here to the most high end that money can possibly buy. You cannot, for any amount by a more precision, more high quality riser than what is on this particular boat, okay? Now, that Sanlita has sent me far more than I ever expected. I did not expect that, I didn't, guys. All right, now let's talk about the limbs. These limbs are cross-carbon foam core limbs. That's right, cross-carbon foam core high performance, advanced precision, it even says advanced precision on the limbs. No joke, guys. If you've ever shot carbon foam limbs, 3Ks, uh, Yukas, whatever, any carbon foam limb you've shot, you know, if you're an ILF guy, that these limbs produce a butter smooth draw and a spongy back wall. A very, very, very spongy, very, very spongy back wall, okay? They really do. They feel less in weight than they truly are. You have about five pounds of adjustment on these bows with your tiller boats, okay? So I bottomed this one out. It come in at a 45-pound boat. I bottomed it out, and it hit 46 pounds with an even tiller bottom completely out, all right? And of course, I put my Selway strap-on quiver on here. I, I, I just love the Selway quivers. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I personally purchase Selway quivers, and I have for as long as I've been shooting traditional. I have always shot these quivers on my bows because they are the highest quality. They absolutely make a bow solid. Uh, if you have a loud recurve, let's just say you do. And by the way, these bows are not loud at all. But I still do the typical stuff I do to them. I pad, I pad my uh, my uh, tiller bolts. I Velcro the limbs where they make contact here. Sometimes I will actually pad my limbs where you'll see the little bars on them. I'll do that. I'll put limb backing on them. Uh, 15 pound Velcro. It works great. So I don't need to do anything else, but I can guarantee you this, uh, and hopefully you'll be able to notice it in the video. When I put a strap-on quiver, even on these ILF bows, they are completely hush. They are so quiet, and it has no effect on performance at all because it's still above the fades on the limbs. Okay, so if you really want to shut your bow up, get you a Selway strap-on quiver. Uh, you'll be amazed at how quiet your bow will become. All right, so the X10, there it is. You can see it written on the that limb right there. You see it right there, the Hermit X10. I'm talking about some straight up killer limbs, man. These things are killer. So the string, you don't have to buy a string for these bows. Absolutely no way do you have to buy anything for these bows. When you get one, when you get it, 
it will come packed so nicely and so neatly in a little box, taken apart, everything ready to go together, snap and go, all right? But it comes with a D97 fast light, fast flight, premium string, and it comes with these rabbit fur silencers. Now, when I first saw these silencers, guys, when I first saw them, I thought, ah, oh, yeah, I ain't really crazy about how these things look. You know, they look kind of long, but you can cut them. You can cut them as short as you want to. But let me tell you, they flat out work. These things don't slow the bow down. I mean, they do not slow it down enough to even notice. But they're very quiet. They're extremely quiet strings, okay? And the only thing that I can tell you that I did, uh, I didn't put brass knocks. I tied my adjustable knocks on there, which is very easy to do, by the way. So, this mystery bow, as you will see me shooting it outside, is a complete different experience than probably 95% of the ILF bows that I've ever shot. Why? Why, why is it any different. Let me explain, guys. This new bow that I've got in my hand, when I had it on the way and I got an email that it was on the way, you know, I get excited about any bow that's coming in, no matter what it is. I can't wait to get it and put it together, you know, and shoot it because I'm like, oh boy, is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Is it really going to be a shooter? Am I not going to like it? Which, you know, if I don't, I don't. But when I pick this bow up, I picked the riser up out of the box and I held that riser and I put my hand to it and I was instantly like, oh my gosh, man, does that feel good. Narrow throated, low wrist angle, no bulky, cheap plastic grip stuff. I mean, quality, man. And the mass weight of that solid machine riser with this beautiful black matte powder coat finish on it. I mean, it's like, wow. My gosh, this thing was nice. And the components, I mean, you know, I looked and I couldn't believe it actually had stainless steel components in it. And, and I have to adjust nearly every ILF bow I get. I have to adjust limb alignment on I put these limbs on and honestly, there was literally no adjustment to it. They had it set perfect, okay? Which is mind blowing. But then again, when I think about it, Sanlita archery is so big in Olympic archery and they have been for 25 years or so. And if you go on their website and you look at their Olympic recurves, fully decked out, dressed out, you know, and, you know, they're $1,000 they're bows, but they're totally awesome, all right? So now I know why that this X-10 is so advanced. I know now why it is, because what they're doing is they're offering a hunting bow in that high-end world, okay? But the price is going to blow your mind. So, are you are you bracing yourself here? Seriously, guys. I mean, just I, this is old Jeff's just gonna put it out here for you. Two hundred ninety nine dollars. That's right. Two hundred and ninety nine dollars. That is what they ship this bow to your door for. I mean, a three hundred dollar premium bow. You can't even buy these limbs for that. You cannot buy carbon foam limbs for three hundred dollars. They they don't exist. I mean, of any any real ones, of any kind of name brand, any kind of quality, no. You can't even buy these limbs. Uh, you might get close at four hundred. You might, but even if that's the case, look what a riser costs. A typical riser like that, three to four hundred dollars or five hundred dollars. So we're talking close to a thousand dollar setup here. We really are. The thing costs two hundred ninety nine bucks. All right, guys. I don't know how they do it, and I really don't care. I really don't. All I know is this is probably the most mind blowing because I'm used to shooting, you know, some of these these hundred and thirty dollar. Uh, 
other other you know brand ILF bows lately that shoot really good. They do. They're really good shooting bows. No no problems with them, but they're not machined, which doesn't really matter in some senses. But what, where where it does matter is when you go to making adjustments and you go to tightening screws, and all of a sudden your threads strip out because it's a cheap riser because it's not a fully machined riser and it's not capable of being worked on when a steel screw goes into a molded injected riser that's poured and not machined they do not hold up to steel screws and things of that nature that's why this is a different animal guys it's a whole different animal altogether. So, I wanted to show you guys this new mystery bow and let you in on it. I couldn't tell you how long they're going to be available. I couldn't. I don't know. I, all I know is you can go on their website and you can buy them. That's all I can tell you. You can do that. I'll put the link up there where you can go to San Lita Outdoors and look up this awesome hermit x10 ilf hunting bow and if you're one of the fortunate ones to get your hands on one while they are available i can tell you this you will be blown away you see it in the video you see it in the shooting guys it is what it is if you want the next closest thing you can get to a compound the closest you can get to a compound bow in a recurve. This is it. The feel, the, the wrist angle, the grip, the mass weight, the stability, the smooth draw, the speed. I don't know what this thing's shooting through the graph. I haven't shot one through the graph. Uh, I mean, I haven't shot this one through. I don't know. I can tell you now, it's not slow. The bow is definitely not slow. It's a high performance bow. It's slinging some arrows. Uh, I'm shooting some 480 green arrows out of it, and it is absolutely slinging them out there at 20 yards and 25 yards, and I've shot it 40 and 50 yards already. Man, does this thing shoot good. And you can hold it. That's what I like about it, guys. This is a bow that especially... In a 60 inch bow, if you can imagine a 60 inch bow that feels like a 64 or 66. Uh, most of the ILFs that I've shot lately have been 62 inch bows and this one feels just like them or, or even smoother than some for some reason. And it's only a 60 inch bow. And you would think, well, it, it's going to be a stacker. No, no, it's not. Now, of course, I only have a 27-inch draw. But if, if, you, if you think about it, the flex and the smooth back wall that this thing has, I would say a guy with a longer draw would still be very pleased with this bow, that he will not have finger pinch and he will not have any issues at all. I mean, I don't see it, guys. I mean, you can draw it way on back, and it's just like it it doesn't even really gain a lot of weight. It's like the, the draw force curve on these limbs are so incredibly smooth. Um, it's just mind-blowing, man. It's mind-blowing. But that's what Cross Carbon does, uh, and the foam cord, you, temperature doesn't change it, and that's why I'm going to hunt with this boat. I'm going to tell you. This bow will shoot consistent in any weather, cold, hot, humidity, it does not matter because the foam core will not change like wood core can and does. Okay, in other words, when it gets really cold, lots of bow limbs stiffen up, they gain pounds, and when it gets hot, they get limber and they lose pounds. Foam core limbs don't do that. In other words, this bow is going to be the exact same weight, exact performance every single time you shoot it, any time of the year, in any climate. I mean, it doesn't matter if you travel to any state you can name on a hunt, 
with a bow like this, it's going to do it. So I just wanted to bring you this cool mystery bow that I got. And like I said, I'm probably the only one that has one. You probably have never heard of this. You know, I've done all these videos uh, lately showing their really good wood bows uh, like the X8. Uh, awesome bows for so cheap. I mean, really good shooting bows for, for almost nothing, guys. I mean, they really are. And they, they are, they, they're just great bows at a great price. They really, really are. But I never expected this bow to be what it is. But now that I do look at their Olympic recurves and see, you know, actually I've watched them in action. I've, I've just, I've really followed them to see, you know, okay, how in depth are they? How good are their products really on the high levels? They're up there with Hoyt and everybody else. They are. Okay. So now I understand fully. I understand fully why the San Lita Company put such a great product out. And they have really, really good customer service, guys. Just straight up, they do. Okay. Uh, the communication, even for me, has been unbelievable. I mean, I've gotten just great, great communication out of these people. Like... I mean, as, as good as you could ever ask for, as you, good as you could ever, ever hope to get out of a company. All right, so with that being said, there she is, guys. I wanted to bring it to you, show you the cool new rig, and I cannot wait, because this is my new weapon right here, buddy. This is my secret weapon. I can't wait to take this to some shoots and have people starting to look at it say, man, what is that? What is it? What is that bow you're shooting? Because it's so quiet. It's so fast. It's so accurate. <laughs> and it's so beautiful. It is a beautiful bow. So I'm excited, guys. So thank you for joining me today on Instinctive Addiction Archery. As always, I'm glad I got to bring you uh, another video uh, showing you another product that may be something you would be very interested in owning uh, at a really good price. And that's the whole point of this. When we started uh, this, you know, several months ago, when I started introducing some of the more well-known uh, budget bows, uh, you know, even last year when we went to the couple of big shoots, uh, me and all the guys went and we, we did all of our in-depth testing on stuff like Black Hunters, and uh, the top archery recurves and things, you know, a lot of these, you know, $100, give or take, bow setups to see how they really performed, man, on a, on a true 3D course. And if, if you watch it, it's pretty amazing. It really is just how good some of these bows shoot for so little money. And the point of it was, guys, it, it wasn't to try to get someone that's already buying custom bows to, to switch over to a cheap bow unless they just want to, to have one to play with or a backup bow or whatever. It is to get people that are wanting to switch over into traditional archery set up the right way at something they can afford. Because you know what, guys? You got to look at it this way. What if you're a guy that really wants to dabble in traditional, but you don't know if you'll stick it out. I mean, and you may or you may not. Well, if you decide to throw the towel in, you don't have a lot of money tied up. I mean, you really don't. So if you, you get you a setup like that, like this, like any of the others, you're not out a whole lot of money. You don't really have anything to lose. And there again, it's fun and it will get you in the game. This is gonna do more than get you in the game. This is gonna make you win the game. This is gonna keep you in the game, and it's gonna kill a lot of game. I'm gonna tell you that right now. This is a different animal. Now, this is not, not the same as the others. They're great. But this, guys, this is next level. Serious, next level. <laughs> and I am not kidding you guys. This is, 
way next level performance right here in my hand, and I am so happy. I, I, I be, I'm beyond words. I don't know what else to say about this X10 other than hope you get one, and uh, we'll leave it at that, guys. So thank you for joining me today on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I love you guys so much. And thank you for tuning in. And uh, we'll be bringing a lot of new videos. we got a ton of new stuff coming up. And uh, just want you to hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like. It makes uh, YouTube share it in different places and whatnot. But that's all it's about. And I just hope that everything, seriously, guys, everything that we say and do on this channel will bring honor and glory to the good Lord that loves us so much and gave himself for us. If it wasn't for him, we would have nothing and we would be nothing. He is everything. And he's my best friend. I love him. He's been too good to me in the little things and the big things every day of my life. And uh, I can never thank him enough for just letting my old arms keep drawing these bows and shooting and having fun and doing what I love doing, guys. So thank you again. Goodbye.